morning viewers and welcome to another episode of Regional Review with NMH. I'll be your host, Tuyemo Haidula, and I'm coming to you live from Oshana region. Today is World International Education Day. The day was adopted in 2018 when the United Nations decided to celebrate the role education plays in global peace and sustainable development. In today's episode, we are going to discuss what is a very a sensitive issue, if I can put it that way, and it's close to the heart of many Namibian women, if not the entire nation. Last year, Namibia started debating about abortion and whether to have it legalized, and this was taken up by the lawmakers in the parliament. They have then decided to have public meetings in different regions so that they can consult the public on whether they are supporting the idea to have abortion legalized in Namibia and those who are not supporting the idea to give their views and to explain why they are not supporting it. The past weekend, the parliament committee was in Omsati region at Onesi. The community of Onesi is against abortion being legalized in Namibia, citing that it's against their tradition. The Unkolonkadi traditional authority strongly spoke against legalizing abortion in Namibia, saying that their tradition does not allow it. The authority also explained that in the past, when women would fall pregnant, they were killed or punished for falling pregnant out of wedlock. The authority was then responsible to help these women seek refuge, and now they feel that they cannot turn around and decide to allow women to abort when in the past they were saving women who were at the mercy or who were about to be killed or punished for getting pregnant out of wedlock. Further along, traders between Namibia and Angola will be happy to hear that the Chicago border post is opening on the 1st of February. The Angolan government made the decision to allow the borders to open so that trading can take place between the two countries. The Chicago border post has been closed since last year when the Angolan government decided that there will be no one entering and coming out of their country using that border post. The border post has been open on the Namibian side, but Namibians were unable to enter Angola because the country was not allowing any visitors due to the COVID-19 pandemic that is currently ongoing. Onesi Constituency Councillor Festus Petrus also strongly spoke out against 
legalizing abortion in Namibia. Take a look at what his views are. Councillor, you can just please speak to us about the just ended meeting on public hearings here at Annecy on what are the views and what is the community feeling within regards to having abortion legalized in Namibia. Thank you very much, the media. Uh, my name is Festo Simon Petrusa, the councillor for Annecy constituency. Yes, today we are lucky because we have visitors from the Namibian parliament. It's all about to the act of 1975, act number two, which is not a Namibian law, I think, also. It's old also. And therefore, what the community saying of Onesi today, totally they are not supporting the idea of uh, abortion to be regularized in Namibia based on this uh, point. Yes, various. Let's start with the, our tradition. Traditionally, abortion is not around, especially in Ukrohnadi traditional authority. And that is what the representatives of Krohadi Tradition Authority has said today. Yes. And even the representatives from the church, they said no to legalization of abortion. We are not supporting. Even we have today, we are like to have representatives from the Swapo Party Women Councillors. We are also speaking about. They are against that one. Yes. You know, when we allow abortion to be legalized, let's first look at the Namibian population currently. The Namibian population today stands at 2. If not 5, is 6 population. That is a very low population. And if we allow the abortion to be legalized yes uh, are we going to is it now i'm going to allow our population to increase or it will decrease our population also yeah? because we you can say maybe there are those who practice somewhere under under the tree or behind the doors or somewhere there but if you allow abortion to be practiced by everyone uh, it won't to uh, it will not work even uh, our parents are saying if you those are some of the women who participate in in the end as they are saying a nation without without a younger generation is not a, it's not a growing it's not a nation because we are not if we allow abortion to be practiced this year 2022 how is the namibian life is going to be and after let's say 100 years yeah? and the, we want to, our population to increase from where we are now 82.5 to even 30,000 30, million or to 20 million and we are also here a low legalization of abortion we are totally against that one yes thank that you is, very much yes, yes thank you mm. so much Yes. Looking at the weather for the far north this week, Umuthia, Oshakati, Undangwa and Inana are partly cloudy with temperatures currently mild but picking up towards the mid-30s later this week. Utapi is somewhat warmer already with temperatures reaching the high 30s by Wednesday. From me, Teimo, Haidula, and the rest of the NMH crew, thank you so much for staying with us. We will see you again on Friday 
when Tunahole Mongoba will bring you the regional review highlights. Have a pleasant and blessed week ahead. Goodbye. Thank you.